If you've got a Java project that you're building with Gradle, you can either skip tests on the command line or configure it in the build script. So let's take a look at this Gradle project, which will run with the build task. We have a failing test, which caused the test task to fail. The simplest and maybe the best option is just to pass dash x space test, which will exclude the test task. That means that this task just doesn't take part in the build. It's not within the task graph. So obviously the test doesn't run. If you want to set something up a bit more permanent, we can head into the build script and we need to locate the test task with tasks.named. And then we can configure it in a variety of ways. The simplest is probably just to set the enabled flag to false, which means that the test task is part of the build, but it's skipped, so Gradle doesn't actually run any of its actions, so none of the tests get run. Another option is to call only if, which takes a closure, which returns a true or false. So we could say only if this project doesn't have a particular property. Now, if we run the build task with the skip tests property set, once again, the test task is marked as skipped. Another approach is to call exclude and pass a pattern which Gradle will look for to exclude tests. So we can say exclude star, and that just means that Gradle doesn't run any tests. The advantage of this is we can be a bit more explicit. For example, we could exclude the particular test that's failing in this case. And now the test report shows us those non-excluded tests which were successfully run. One other way you can configure the test task, which you might not be familiar with, is to set ignore failures to true. When you do that and the test task fails, Gradle will just continue with your build and mark it as successful, assuming nothing else fails. Let's say we added some integration tests to this project with a separate integration test task. That means that when Gradle fails the unit test task, the test task, it will continue on to integration tests. But rather than skipping tests, my preferred approach is to run the relevant task to achieve what I want to in my Gradle build. For you, that could be the assemble task, which doesn't actually run tests. So check out this video, which runs through exactly when and how to use assemble.